What I'm going to be diagramming here or drawing up our 41 and 42 option, which is a triple option versus a 4-3. First, we'll die it up, diagram it against the 4-3 running to our tight end, and then we'll diagram it running away from the tight end, running it uh, in weak to our formation. With our 41 and 42 option, everybody on the field, on the offensive field, they need to know who the read men are. And in our option, our number one read man is going to be the first guy head up to outside the tackle. So in this case, the defensive end is going to be the number one read man. And then our number two read man is going to be the first guy outside of our number one. In this case, we do a little bit of adjustment at the 4-3, and we're going to make this outside linebacker the number two read man. So everybody needs to know. It's just not the quarterback who's known the read man, obviously. These guys up front need to know who that read man is too. That way we're not blocking the read man and screwing up the quarterback on his reads. Uh, where we're going to start at, we feel it's one of our more important blocks. Uh, a lot of times people don't want to run the triple option into a three technique. We, we still will run it into a three technique. That way, by defensive alignment, they can't tell us what we're going to run and what we can run. So what we'll do out of our play side guard and play side tackle is we want to get a good double team block. We need to move this guy off the line of scrimmage. We are going to double team to the Mike linebacker. So these two are going to have these two. It doesn't matter if this guy is going to give us any type of blitz or spark on the inside. That guard has to come off. If he starts to come over top, then we need to get our tackle off onto him. So these two, no matter what, have those two. It doesn't matter where they're going to end up on the field. Our tight end, what we're going to have to do with our tight end, we tell our tight end to be a smart football player. We give him the option. If he's got a defensive end on him that is playing outside, then we'll let him release inside if that's easier for him to get where he needs to go. If he's got a defensive end that's playing head up on him, right on top of him, then we're going to tell him you need to release outside, help to widen that read gap for the quarterback, whatever he needs to do. We try to let him be a football player, be a common sense type guy, and make the best play that he can. What we are going to do, and uh, this is a little bit of adjustment for us as we go through the course of our season, if he's got an outside guy, if he's got an outside on his shoulder, he may take an in.